The royal family spent Tuesday attending a memorial service for the Queen's late husband, Prince Philip. The Queen and members of the royal family attended a Thanksgiving service at Westminster Abbey in London, honouring Prince Philip's dedication to family, country and Commonwealth. In attendance were Prince Charles, Duchess Camilla, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Princess Anne and Sir Tim Lawrence. The Queen and Prince Philip's youngest granddaughter Louise also stepped out alongside her brother James, Vice Count Seven and parents for the poignant event. The 18-year-old looked sombre as she arrived at Westminster Abbey alongside her mother Sophie, Countess of Wessex and Prince Edward. Lady Louise wore a sophisticated navy blue dress, complete with a flattering skater skirt and square neckline. This was layered with a royal blue cardigan. She accessorised her outfit with a beaded blue clutch and striking blue fascinator, adding layers of silver jewellery. It is noteworthy that the 18-year-old girl paid tribute to her late grandfather by wearing an equestrian brooch. The silver brooch, representing a carriage and a horse head and a hoof, was a touching nod to her grandfather's love of carriage driving. She already sported the brooch for her grandfather's 30-person funeral in Windsor last year. This remarkable gesture was a nod to her and Philip's shared passion for horse riding, in particular carriage riding, which the teenager has taken up in recent years. Louise, who is 14th in line to the throne, has been hailed an asset to the royal family and appears to have inherited her mother's quiet sense of duty. She has occasionally joined Edward and Sophie on public engagements. The Queen's seventh grandchild, Louise, lives in Bagshot Park, just a few miles from Windsor Castle, with her parents and younger brother, who is 13th in line to the throne, and the youngest of the Queen's grandchildren. Close to their grandparents, the Wessex family are regularly pictured at Windsor Castle, with Louise following in her grandfather's footsteps to become an accomplished equestrian. The day before Philip's memorial service, Louise was seen taking ponies carriage driving in the grounds of Windsor Castle. She has previously driven the Duke of Edinburgh's ponies, a touching way to keep her grandfather's memory alive. The accomplished equestrian was given personal lessons by her grandfather and now competes herself. Louise spoke lovingly about the Duke during the BBC special Prince Philip The Royal Family Remembers. During the programme, which marked the young royal's first ever interview, Louise recalled her shared love with Philip for carriage driving. She said, The Duke of Edinburgh has been so involved in my driving, which has been so lovely, although slightly scary because he invented the sport pretty much. It's incredible to have learned firsthand from him. The teenager also described how the Duke's eyes would light up whenever they were discussing how her competitions were going. She said, After a competition, he would always ask how it went. His eyes would light up because he just gets so excited when he talks about it. When we would go carriage driving, he would take me on a different route every day. I do not know how he managed to do that and tell me all sorts of antidotes about anything and everything. He is honestly one of the most interesting people I have ever met. Lady Louise also said she hoped to have honoured Prince Philip by taking part in the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme, which the Queen's husband launched in 1956. The Duke of Edinburgh began carriage driving in the early 1970s and is credited with popularising the sport in the UK. Following his retirement, Philip had more time to enjoy carriage driving and shared his love with his family, including Lady Louise. He raced carriages near Norfolk before going on to represent Britain at several world and European championships. Speaking previously to the Daily Mail, royal author and expert Ingrid Stewart explained Lady Louise has always been an asset to the royal family. She has always been an asset to the family and very polite, which the Queen loves, Ingrid said. Remember how she helped the bridesmaids on the steps of St George's Chapel as they went inside at Princess Eugenie's wedding and her skirt blew up in the wind in front of the TV cameras? She handled it very deftly. She adds on Lady Louise's bond with the Duke of Edinburgh. Prince Philip took pleasure in watching Louise compete at the Royal Windsor Horse Show. I don't think he taught her himself, but he would have made sure she had some top-class tuition from one of his grooms and, of course, the availability of ponies and carriages to drive.